Yo, what's up guys? Long time no see. It's been about two weeks since I've uh, managed to get a video up here on YouTube, so I apologize um, for the delay. Obviously, been uh, battling COVID uh, over the last uh, handful of days here. It's been uh, not a lot of fun. Uh, and then was in Miami prior to that. Miami was a great time. It was great seeing a bunch of uh, the homies. Size Basil was uh, epic, huge success. Also turned out to be uh, potentially a super spreader event. So um, there's that, but totally worth it. Had a great time, uh, but felt quite sick when I got home, uh, tested positive, and uh, I got a really bad uh, case of it. You know, I was, I mean, I wasn't in the hospital or anything, but I was, you know, bedridden for two or three days, like, couldn't get out of bed sick uh slowly on the mend here i don't even know what day it is i think it's been seven days now uh and i'm starting to come out of it you know i feel my energy levels are coming back um my flu symptoms are dying down the congestion the cough uh the body aches um the fatigue all that stuff starting to wear off so i'm definitely on the mend uh, but as you guys are, I'm sure, aware, based on my Imagine the Smell uh, segments that have been super popular on Twitter there, um, the taste and the smell have been uh, nowhere to be found over the last couple days here. So still waiting for those to, to come back, hopefully sooner than later. I've seen some absolute horror stories about it, uh, but good vibes only, positive vibes only. I will get my uh, sense of smell and taste back soon. Uh, I'm confident in that, but uh, I miss you guys, man. I miss uh, doing my usual videos. I wanted to do a stream on Sunday, but I just didn't have the energy um, to get it done. And uh, yesterday as well, just kind of, you know, like I'm going to bed at a reasonable time and then I'm waking up 12 hours later. Like it's crazy. So maybe my body was telling me I needed this because I was actually supposed to be on another trip right now in the Caribbean uh, with my with my mom, but uh, had to cancel that obviously. Um, but I miss you guys. I want to get back to doing the videos. I'm going nowhere for the foreseeable future. So I'm uh, going to get back on this YouTube grind and this content creation grind, not just me eating weird stuff, but me, uh, hopefully giving you guys some, uh, useful analysis on the market. Cause I believe that's why most of you follow me in the first part, uh, for, for, for the most part, excuse me, not just because of my awesome personality and sense of humor. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so let's get into it. We're going to just do a very quick high-level review of Bitcoin and Ethereum. Obviously, we've had a lot happen since my last video, um, but uh, this is kind of something that I predicted in my last video, so it's nice to see my analysis kind of coming through. Um, real quick, shout out to the partners of this video. Uh, I'm partnered up again with Prime. Very happy to do so. We've actually got something very exciting in the works that I'll fill you guys in on next year week probably on sunday or something like that um but uh happy to be back with prime uh i'm gonna leave all the information you need in the description of this video if you want to sign up use the exchange it helps me out a lot if you guys actually sign up and make an account with the link in the description using the promo code main m-a-y-n-e and then the number 50 five zero uh, you get 25 percent uh, off of your trading fees <clears throat> if you use that promo code or use the link in the description that's a big deal so shout out to the prime team show them some love by showing me some love by uh, showing that link some love um, so with that out of the way let's get into it so in the last couple videos <coughs> excuse me that I did um, you will guys remember I've been talking about kind of the similarities of this to this Right, not quite a one-to-one -one fractal, but kind of a similar topping pattern that we were seeing. I was talking about FBTC looking ready to, um, you know, break out, which it has, um, and then uh, you know both Bitcoin and Ethereum looking like, uh, you know, similar to how they did um, in April May. And 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 one of the things I wanted to kind of point out was, you know, when Bitcoin was kind of topping, um, you know, FBTC broke out and went parabolic and F went parabolic, but in general, it was more just a sign of, you know, potential weakness coming in the market. So my prediction about, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> weakness in the market did come to fruition. We did see a big correction across the board. Bitcoin went as low as like 42,000, 41,500, uh, which is pretty nuts. Um, but again, <coughs> we had a massive, you know, kind of 
move up since the summer. Like six months, we've had, you know, basically a massive move up, higher low, massive move up. And could this be just another higher low, right? Before another leg higher? Or is this the end and we're now in a bear market and all rallies are to be shorted as we go below 30K, right? I don't know. Um, but uh, what I'm leaning towards for now uh, is that this is uh, an area that we want to be focused on buying over selling. I think what we're seeing happen right here is no different than what we saw here, you know, and what we saw here. Uh, I do think that this is going to be uh, an area of accumulation. I even posted on Twitter the other day a bunch of different bottoms. Like I posted this bottom, this bottom, um, you know, and this one, and then the current price action, just to say like, you know, generally after we have these large down moves, <coughs> that's when everyone gets hyper emotional, right? When price started looking bearish up here, right? Remember, I don't need to rehash all this because we've talked about it ad nauseum, but right, gain like went above the high, failed to hold the level, right? Broke back below, retested the underside, broke market structure. Things are starting to look shitty, just like here. People aren't getting bearish here, right? All they have is fucking moons in their fucking eyes. And they're like, we're going to 100K when price action is telling you something different. And uh, I was pretty consistent that like, hey, this isn't looking good, right? Um, you know, we want to we wanna get back above these levels. The fact that we weren't able to hold 60K and then we weren't able to hold 50K and da 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 da, you know, obviously the result is, you know, finally price expands to the downside. But what happens is rather than be bearish here, right? when you should be bearish, after we have that huge 20, 30% dump, and we're into an area that should be support, right? Previous, uh, you know, kind of, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to be like, okay, like this should be, you know, potentially support here, right? Um, broke through here, retested, boom. Like this looks like it could be, you know, finding some support here. Obviously it can go lower. We could lose this area, we could drop, but We've just had a huge dump <coughs> into support. I don't know. I wasn't coughing for the last like hour. And now it's like, this tastes like nothing. Um, uh, now everyone wants to get bearish and start calling for 30K and the bear market is here. And it, and it might be, right? But at the end of the day, after a big down move like this and then price starts consolidating, I'm more inclined to A, be patient, but look for longs. Even if it's not going to do this, I think it's more likely that we do something like this, right, than it is that we just drop from here. So I'm more inclined to be patient here, <coughs> look for reasons to potentially get long, uh, and then look for shorts on the way up if we start rejecting at resistance because market structure is bearish. Then I am to looking, you know, then at looking for shorts after a massive down leg like this. We've just had a huge move up, pull back, huge move up, pull back. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. Um, I haven't talked this much in a row since having COVID, I guess. Um, so I, I'm not really inclined to just think this thing just drops from here. It could, right? It absolutely could, but I'm more inclined to think that we get some sort of bounce. Even if we are going to get further downside, some sort of bounce first. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. I'm looking for this to shape up like any of these kind of areas here where we get those kind of, you know, bottoming ranges where everyone thinks it looks like shit. You have that big initial spike, the range gets set, and now we're just waiting for price to eventually you know, break out of the range and then maybe it comes up to here and then then it dies. Who fucking cares? Um, well, I mean, a lot of us care, obviously, but um, I'm more inclined to think that we bounce from this area and I'm looking to be a buyer or reasons to be a buyer down here than I am, um, you know, looking to short this to 30K. Um, you know, if we do lose this kind of area that we're at, right, like we lose this area that we're at, and it does want to trade further down, then yeah, you know, we're looking at some pretty, you know, low, low being, um, I guess, uh, you know, a relative term, uh, because, you know, 30K per Bitcoin is still insane if you've been in Bitcoin as long as I have. Um, but for someone who got into Bitcoin recently, 30K is horrifying because that's 50% down from where you bought, right? So um, we'll see, but I'm inclined to be, you know, potentially bullish here. 
That was gross. I'm sorry. So what are some things I'm looking at price-wise? What am I looking at for areas of potential interest? So we've had our big move up and then we've come down and we've retested now this bullish weekly order block, right? So this is a 101 order block, right? Down candle for an up move that broke market structure. We're pulling back and we're retesting. So I wanna be a buyer in here. So if you zoom in, right? And just looking at the weekly only, <coughs> right? Like this would be the, the draw just from a weekly perspective that if it's bearish, your bearish retest is here at about 60,800. That'd be your bearish retest above here. It's moon mission, right? Back above 60 K. Um, so now zooming in to like the H12, yeah, market structure is bearish, but we've had that big liquidity spike, right? Right. Bunch of people liquidated here deep into the order block. You know, if you want to be cheeky with it, <coughs> it's like it waited for me to start recording to start dying again. Right into the H12 order block within the weekly. <clears throat> this is kind of just hindsight shit. It doesn't actually mean anything unless you had orders there in advance. But we're now consolidating here. And we could be forming one of those kind of classic BTC bottoming ranges. Or just the falling wedge portion, right? Um, but that's kind of what I'm watching for. I'm saying, okay, well, let's, let's let price develop here. I think you've got a pretty clear range. I'd take this low to that high. Pretty clean, right? So at the range low, right? We had a sweep there. We regained this low. Um, you know, zoom in a little bit more. You've got an H4 bullish order block here. So you've got a bullish SFP a bullish SH4 order block that's formed here, right? So I wanna be looking for some constructive PA. <coughs> Fucking hell. This week, maybe a little bit of a pullback here, but ideally if we can get above the mid range, I think this has uh, the makings for uh, a move up into the range high towards 52K. So this is the kind of action I'm potentially looking for, you know, this week. Uh, the other thing I could see happen, right, is we get another sweep of the range low. If that happens. If we reclaim the range low, there's your risk. You enter there, target the mid-range, obviously get above there, target here. So those are the two scenarios that I'm looking for on Bitcoin, right? Pullback, potentially just to here, up into here. You could long this, like something like that, right, with your entry there, stop there. I don't know, or your stop could go here. Target one, right, target two. That would be kind of uh, the bullish weekly plan uh, if that plays out. So this is the range I'm watching. I think we're on high time frame support. I don't think this is where you want to be selling. If you were trying to sell, you had tons of time to sell above 60K, above 55K. We're now in, you know, below 50 uh, after a huge sell off. If you're looking to sell now, you're an idiot, uh, in my opinion. Uh, could we drop from here? Sure. But I think the risk reward is now tilted towards upside from here. So that's what I'm focusing on. You do whatever the hell you want to do. I'm the guy eating raw cloves of garlic on Twitter. So, um, that's my view on Bitcoin. <clears throat> Let's quickly cover Ethereum. So the difference, um, obviously is that right now, you know, FBTC is making a potential kind of, I don't want this one. You know, I'm getting all hot. Everything's going wrong. Um, you know, we finally had that move to range high on FBTC. We got the clear breakout of this big old range, which has been, you know, <coughs> <coughs> I'm so sorry, guys, months in the making. And uh, now is this a fake out? Right, and we're just gonna trade right back into this range, which would be horrendous. Uh, or is this a retest? You know, we've broken out, and now we're we're retesting, and we're we're gonna continue to move out. So 
the bull case is that you know this isn't a fake out this isn't a deviation you want to see this kind of retest here hold right I want to see this hold I don't want us to fall back within this range I want us to break out of this range uh, towards higher could we come deeper and test the 50% of the range again absolutely but I think the most bullish case for ethereum is that this breakout that's happened here is legit and we, we break out maybe we pull back further first but you want this to continue to trend you do not want this to be a deviation and us to just range again um, another thing to obviously watch here is <coughs> the BTC dominance chart the BTC dominance chart looks to be potentially you know forming kind of like a triple bottom here um, you know, so we've got one, two, three, triple bottom almost looking like uh, form in here. And uh, if this is able to hold and this starts to rally, um, you know, on this relief bounce that we might be seeing or coming up here for, you know, going into the end of the year, we could see it be led by Bitcoin, right? So if Bitcoin dominance is able to hold this triple bottom and this is able to rally, the next rally is not going to be led by Ethereum and altcoins. It's going to be led by Bitcoin. Um, so watch that chart watch FBTC obviously <clears throat> and then FUSD um, You know if Bitcoin if Bitcoin dominance rallies you're gonna want to be looking to long Bitcoin not Ethereum right if Bitcoin dominance falls you'll want to look to but the whole market is going up that means it's likely that Ethereum and altcoins are leading that rally um, <clears throat> The Ethereum chart um, you know, it's kind of ugly, but I'm looking at the same kind of thing here, right? I, I think this is, you know, an area where you want to look for support. Is this going to hold here? I don't know, but we've had our big sell off. Obviously, we had a huge bounce on Ethereum here. Um, I think that. Um, you want to see this uh, kind of form a range it's not quite as clean as bitcoin right bitcoin's got a little bit more of a clean range because ethereum had that huge bounce you know after the sell-off so it's not quite as clean pa wise but to me this is the range that i'm watching on ethereum and if we're able to hold here and this becomes the low i think there's a good chance we'll see ethereum trading back towards 4k this week if bitcoin does kind of what i think it's gonna do uh, we should see ethereum trade back towards you know 41.20, 41.30, uh, assuming this is now the low for the week here that we've just put in over the last couple of days. So um, let's wait and see. I'm sorry if this video was a little hectic. First video back in a while. Still not sure I have 100% brain function. <coughs> Clearly still sick. Um, need to brush my teeth after what you guys all just saw me eat. Um, but yeah, uh, happy to be back, uh, back in the saddle and my energy levels are coming back. I think I'm through the worst of this COVID thing. So thankful for that and thankful for all your guys' support. Unbelievable out, uh, pouring of support on Twitter um, with people offering remedies and just well wishes and stuff. Uh, we do off have, you know, an awesome community. So, so thankful for that. Love you guys so much. And uh, I'll be back uh, this week with another video, hopefully uh, with me getting my taste back too. Let's pray for that. All right, thanks guys.